Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, let us solve a problem on heap. We'll continue heap and we will solve some problems which we have not solved in greedy and stacks queues. Okay, so this is a problem to convert BST into min heap. So we are given a binary search tree and we have to convert it into a min heap in such a way that all the values in the left subtree of a node of any node should be smaller than all the values to the right or in the right subtree of that node. Well, let us understand with example. Uh, I'll just quickly open the tab. Okay, so let us understand what the problem is asking with an example. Uh, I will draw the subtree over here. So consider this example. So this is the given subtree, okay. Sorry, this is the given BST. This is the given BST. I have to convert this BST into a min heap. What is min heap? If you recall, min heap is a tree based data structure. So basically we have to change this tree into a min heap, which means that it should follow min heap properties. What are min heap properties? Min heap property is first of all, the tree should be a complete binary tree. If you read the problem carefully, it says the BST which is given to us is also a complete binary tree. So we don't have to bother about that property. It is taken care in the input only. Another property of MINIP is that uh, all the values, uh, this thing for each and partic for a particular node, uh, all the values in the left and right uh, subtrees are going to be greater than that only. But over here in this problem, there is another condition that all the values in left subtree should be less than all the values in the right subtree. So how do we solve this problem now? So if this is the example, then how can I convert this? How can I make this into a min heap? If I was to make it into a min heap, then I would do something like this. So one would be the root node as it is the smallest value then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, then seven. Did you observe the way I wrote these values? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why did I write like this? Why didn't I go level wise? Over here, when I was writing the input, anyway, I wrote normally only level. But when I wrote this, if you would have observed carefully, first I wrote parent. How I decided parent? Parent is going to be least value. That is in this BST, whichever is minimum, it is going to be the parent. Okay. Then I went to the left. After going to the left, I wrote two. If you observe two is the second least value. So one is least value, two is second least. Over where in this BST, you should see this BST for reference. This is the input. We have to convert this to min heap. Okay. After that, what did I do? I went again over here. I wrote three. Then I went here four. why I didn't go over here four? then it would not be a complete binary tree. If I keep going like this one after the other, if I keep going like this, make it a skewed tree, it is not going to be like a complete binary tree. So I didn't do that. So I wrote four here, then I went to the right of the parent and wrote five. Then I went to left. Can you observe what is the order in which I am traversing? If you observe carefully, the order in which I wrote these values is the pre order traversal. If you do pre order traversal, you can write like this. But how to get these values one, two, three, four, first of all, if you observe carefully in this BST, if you do in order traversal, 
you do in order what does in order mean you go to left left then go back to root no, the node then you go to right so in order traversal for this bst this bst in order traversal will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is basically a sorted array this is going to give us a sorted array so why do we need sorted array because we have to ensure each and at each and every node we are having minimum value in order to follow min heap property so now i will tell the complete algorithm you would have got to some bits and pieces of ideas i will tell the complete algorithm you are given the bst okay first step is perform in order traversal perform in order traversal and store all the values in an array perform in order traversal and store all the values in an array second is perform pre order traversal of the same bst and change the node values with the corresponding array values so we have to do in order traversal pre order traversal when we do in order traversal copy all the nodes in an array when we do pre order traversal change all the nodes uh in the same way as it is in the array so let us do it let us do i will show you you can write the code by yourself it is very easy in order and pre order traversal you have already learnt in binary tree binary search tree everywhere so i will show you what i am trying to say so i will remove this okay and i will set with an i will show you with an example so this is our input bst what is first step perform in order traversal and store it in array so as you all know in order traversal of a bst will be a sorted array so i will directly write the array now array is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay i have performed the in order traversal now what is the next step next step is perform pre order traversal of the same bst with this array so for this i need to declare an index variable which will keep changing its index at each and every time i visit a new node because i have to change the node values with the array value so keep an index variable called zero and pass it with reference why you should pass it with reference because at each at every at each and every function you, you need to update the index value okay you, every time you have to keep updating so pass it with reference use the ampersand you will know these basic things i don't have to worry too much so now do the pre order traversal okay pre order traversal has to be done so what is pre order traversal if you are at the root node then what does it say perform the operation on the root node so change the root node value to 1 why are you changing it to 1 initially index is 0 so copy this index 0 element of the array to the parent over here so make it 1 now what does pre order say pre order says root then root left then root right so basically perform the operation on the root node current node after doing that go recursively on the right then after going recursively on sorry go recursively on the left after everything go recursively on the right so we were here now we will go here two so we will and our index would change now index value was 1 index value was 0 index value will become 1 so what is array of 1 2 so copy it here okay now again do the pre order traversal go here when you go here index value has changed to 2 what is array of 2 3 so copy it here now there is nothing on the left of this node we are at this node this node has changed to this value i hope you are understanding so now go here it will change to 4 similarly this will change to 5 this will change to 6 this will change to 7 so if you know pre order traversal you can code this problem very easily i have given you the complete direction i have told you the algorithm what are the two steps 
you can definitely do it by yourself there is no place for me to submit over here so i don't know what to do but i have explained it clearly i think you can easily code it no difficulty at all so i would like to end this video over here only please like the video if you understood the problem take some test case examples and do it by yourself then only you will understand subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed it will really motivate me and helping bring out new such content and share it with all your friends take care stay safe keep learning keep growing stay tuned bye